Maybe he didn't buy your Cyrillac. He didn't get your mashed potato. Come on now. You don't know what it is to pay your school fee. You bring yourself up by your own bootstrings. Come on, help me out now. But you don't have a choice. DNA. He's your father. <laughs> but sometimes when you begin to talk about your father, it hurting you that he never fathered you. Come on now. You all with me? He's your father. And it's a bad reflection of our father. Every time I get there, I always tell, you know, the men something. I mean, don't get vexed with me, fellas. If you have your child, go take care of a child. Because you represent God. You are a father. Come on, take care of the child, man. It's your child. You, you brought the child here. Go and take care of your child. Even if the mamzelle don't want to take care of the child, take care of the child somehow, but take care of the child. Right? Give them a better appreciation of fatherhood. Now, let me go back to what I was saying. So, you might not understand that. Now, one, one of the things I found find out is, George is here to help me out. Your father probably didn't take care of you. But if your father take, didn't take care of you, and he left $3 million in the bank. But of course, that's the point I want to make. Even if he did not take care of you, once your birth certificate says that he's your father, you have a right of entitlement. Is anybody hearing me? You have a right of entitlement. Guess what? <laughs> Don't kill the man. Eh? Don't kill the man because they might give you the money, so don't kill the man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but once you have some million dollars in the bank, just go with your birth certificate. And you don't have to find out how many other children he had. And if he had three children, one fourth is yours. If he had five children, one fifth is yours. And nobody can prevent you from getting your thing because he's your father. Let me tell you something. With fatherhood comes rights and privileges. Is anybody getting me? Oy, oy, oy. My son, in whom I am well pleased. My only beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. He has rights and privileges. Last night I told him, you know, Randy, it's a little awkward for the father to wash the vehicle and give it to the son to dirty. Because you know, he left there, they worked hard yesterday. He left there, he went home, he was so tired, he went to sleep. Now, now, a father, I left there too, I worked too. I went home, I decided to clean my vehicle. But he's walking down the step there, and I'm saying, boy, if I have to let this boy walk to practice, he will reach late. And I don't think I should let him walk to practice. So after I wash the vehicle every and I dry it nice, I say, all right, take the vehicle. Now, so I said, you know, partner, it's a little awkward, you know, for the father to wash the vehicle for the son to dirty. Because ordinarily it should be the reverse, right? Yes. Not true? Yes. But, as a son, he has certain rights and privileges. Are you with me? Yes. That's his father's vehicle. Come on, talk to me. So his father decides, you are my son. You have the pleasure of using the vehicle that I've just washed. <laughs> and I thought about how many times I must have disappointed God. Come on, come on. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me. I just thought about how many times I, I must have disappointed God. And every time I disappoint him, I go back to him. He's still providing for me. He still pay my mapping. Come on. He still pay my light bill. He, he still give me breakfast. He still provide lunch for me.
Yeah, that's a man that do punch on the you tonight. Maybe he's doing more than thing, don't worry. He does make chai. You see, this is what I just tell you. They can just go down there and don't worry. They even don't know you can just go. Yeah. But I mean, I cannot. I cannot do that. I cannot leave my chai. It's like, you know, that was what he's saying. They want to smoke a whole month. You have to eat. Yeah. But you go to school, you have to eat the recess. And they want us to work a whole month, leave our children and our woman hungry in the house for the whole month, mm -hmm. and go and work. Yeah, and then after Nicola, we work, then we get money, Nicola, then we can feed our children and that kind of yeah. So we can work for work. You do steady day. Mm -hmm. And if you do steady, it's like you a slave. It's like a slave that's a slave. Yeah. Yeah. The money yeah. you get in is just to come back home. That's what I'm saying. When I'm walking down the road and I'm seeing everybody What's working that? in the hot sun out here. Yeah, yeah. And what are you picking up? Like $20 and, or something? Yeah, yeah. Little money, little yeah. money. And the taxes on the thing again is just always a time. Mm -hmm. So you find a lot of people working in Dominica and they can't build their house. Yeah. You know what I mean? They work for 10 years and they can't build their house. They have to take a, a big loan in the bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no All this morning we were talking. Yeah. I'm working every day. So me, I plant my garden mm -hmm. and I still work. Yeah. Yeah. Project I, I find that stuff before me. My mind not stuff before me, I leave it. That's your piece I just go and train yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah. and put myself on the more expense. Yeah. For them to pay me, I have how much bills to pay. Yeah, I just pay rent back. Check because why a whole month you don't have no money, you don't have nothing. It's credit, you credit, you know, maybe somebody helping you, and then you have to pay back. And then check right and, and that building up, building up, you can't work for that kind of thing. So I have to hustle every day. Every day we have to hustle. So it's a good thing I I doesn't rent house. Just a good thing I doesn't rent. Yeah. You see, but because we are done the rent every month, we have to see where we get them people money to pay them and it's 400, 500, trust me. You check I tell you. And then for you to be working for sixty dollars. Mm. You cost only high. Yeah. You're working for sixty food. dollars a day. Food so really cheap, it's expensive. Yeah. All them imports that you're talking you about clothing and things, you don't know what yet. Yeah. More expense again. And the little money you draw, you can even buy a shit to put on. If you don't pay your bill, you can't buy food to put in Just your rich getting richer and the poor. Yeah, you see another man have children and does leave the children with love. They are not, you know, they leave in the woman with them children mm -hmm. and they go in. Mm -hmm. Now when they give the woman, let's say like they give the woman a uh, hundred dollars, mm -hmm. the woman have to take that hundred dollars and see what she can do with it. Uh -huh. Because she don't know when she getting another one mm -hmm. from him yeah. because he not living in the house. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. But we living in our house. Mm -hmm. Every day, yeah. we have to make sure. When you give her a hundred dollars, so you're doing that same thing as the woman was doing in terms yes, of breaking course, down. That's breaking the down, you have to do that as a man. Right, right. The well, woman have a part to play. Well, 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 mind working. Well, 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 how you leave the house well, well, and go? Well, 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 your mind working. You are telling you the woman mind working too because she in the house taking care of the house and making sure when you come back you have something to eat. Mm -hmm. She wash your clothes. She do what she doing. And also, if she's cooking as well, she's doing the portions, right, to make sure that can stretch. You got yes, one piece of meat that needs to stretch. Actually, I grew up without a man figure <laughs> in the home. Oh, my idea. Without a man living in the home, I, I grew up. Mm -hmm. And the side, it was always my aunt. Mm -hmm. She was the breadwinner for her, set, her setting. You understand? But I believe that no one can change the hands of time. The setting of time, just set the time. Mm -hmm. And he knows the road he sets you on. Maybe, I, as you say, maybe the road I choose made me a better person today. Because I never thought, the life I was living, I never thought today I would be married. Mm -hmm. I would be a family man. And today I am. You understand? That's why I told you my life is a story. Mm -hmm. I've been incarcerated more than 18 times. Boy. Every country I pass, I've been to 13 different countries without a passport. I love honestly. In my first few months outside from prison, 
I got plenty age to go and steal. Mm -hmm. Understand? Because I was still checking that. I was, as I came out from prison, maybe a month, a month and two months after, I was employed where I'm working now. But I still find I was checking now the money, a little money. I know you want to say that little money. One pull out that little blue cut there for me. See, we pass there. We pull it out there for me. That little money for the time I really give me something. But then again I use another mind and saying. I can need to suffer. So then again I serve a mind saying, nobody, you're not doing this stadium. Mm -hmm. You're not past stadium. Better things will come, you understand? Greater things will come. Greater things has come. Mm -hmm. Because I still the whole thing. So sometimes if I go and give in to my temptations, I go and steal I back in prison. And I, what do you say? But you have a little work. Why you gonna do that for? Mm -hmm. Understand? I can't go and steal. When I go and steal, I go to prison. Why do you go before? Mm -hmm. huh? For them other room, for them to, to I will say suffer. So Mm -hmm. Because daddy not they remember they start growing up with, with that life. Daddy, mommy looking forward to see daddy come home after work. You understand? But no, daddy not going to be there because daddy going to jail for maybe two, three years. So that part of their life now is gonna you can frustrate them because they know a custom with daddy. But daddy not there. You understand? Now sometimes when you when they do check, oh yeah, it's like what you are You have the same thing I tell you do? Say that again? You know what I tell you? I wish daddy was daddy. The only one time. Daddy! <laughs> you know, custom with the daddy. Now mm -hmm. I go in prison yeah. now at that stage of my life. It's going to affect them. Mm -hmm. Especially that so one is going to affect them greatly. Mm -hmm. Because daddy that's is it. part of a vocabulary. It. Yeah, that's a that gain, Adam. <laughs> yes, baby. Three equals ten. No. Three plus seven equals ten. Three equals ten. No. Three plus seven equals ten. Okay, you know, that was the reason I started stealing. Do you think if you had known your father from a tender age, it would have been different? You ever think about that? Plus four plus three equals ten. Many times I see the one there. Plus if I was growing up with that father figure in my life, with my life it would be different. Because honestly, ten. I never really grew up with a man figure in yours. Daddy, I think it's only single parents kind of parents. Mm -hmm. Stand I tell you, she's a real life girl with you, know? Mm -hmm. Or later she'll be long beyond the point for the same only provide her son, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you know about Maybe all day if you get on it, you'll introduce it to her and say, Yeah man, that'd be good to introduce I love that baby. I love that baby. Yes, indeed. You get what you But I don't really... I don't really... That's all you do. Give my stress. stress. I don't really stress now because... I see now in life, the children can eat, you can pay a little bills to have a little comfort. What else you want from life? Mm -hmm. Vanity and riches is, is just a... You know what I just say? Vanity and riches is just a myth.